Hey fellow rock lovers, check this out. These are two different geodes. I recently went to a Gem and Mineral Society rock show in Austin where they had lots of different dealers and two of the dealers were selling geodes. Well, the one on the right was from a dealer who claimed these are sedimentary geodes. They're from my land and I think he was from, I don't know, Tennessee or Kentucky. He said, these are special. We have to dig them out of sedimentary rock and they make really special geodes. And the other dealer, he said, was selling these igneous type geodes, you know, volcanic rock geodes. And he, he was implying that they weren't as good. So I don't know anything about geodes. I, I thought, oh, that's interesting. I went ahead and picked up a couple from each dealer just to see maybe what's the difference. So these two I've taken and I've cut them and put a quick polish on them. And let's see, do you think there's going to be much of a difference between a sedimentary geode and an igneous or volcanic rock type geode? Let's find out. Let's begin with the sedimentary geode. How does this look? Let's see. Well, it looks like a geode to me. I'm not a big fan of geodes. Lots of crystal in here. That's pretty. I'll get this on the microscope in a minute and we'll see how those look up close. But otherwise, to me, this is just a very plain looking geode. Nothing too exciting. Other than, like I said, if you're into those crystals, oh, that does have a bunch of those crystals. That's, that's for sure. And then here's the igneous geode. Now to me, this one is a lot more interesting. I like the way this one looks. It has interesting detail. There's some, looks like chalcedony in it, some banding, some really interesting formations. I think this one will look a lot more interesting under the microscope as well. So let me get these under the microscope. We'll take a closer look at each one. But to my eye, the igneous one looks a lot better. What do you think? Here's a shot down in the sedimentary geode. It's very difficult, it turns out, to use a microscope on a geode. I've been struggling to try to find a view where I can zoom in, but there's just such a difference in depth. It's very tricky, but this shot, you can kind of see the crystals, what they look like. And I can certainly zoom in, but it does get a little confusing. <laughs> I do like this, this raggedy look though. Isn't that cool? It's like. Something from a, I think, I'm thinking Superman's Fortress of Solitude. One of those early Superman movies. There's lots of those crystals like that. So once again, this is the sedimentary one. I think that the other one might have some more interesting stuff for the microscope to see. Here you can see a couple of things on the igneous geode. First of all, my polish isn't very good. Like I said, I did a quick polish. I wasn't really looking for a, a beautiful finish, just to get it nice and smooth. But you'll notice that there is some fine banding at the edge and what looks like a little mossiness. Let's zoom in on some of that mossiness and try not to be too distracted by my terrible polishing job. Yeah, I like that. So you got some fine banding there little fortification bending and the mossiness. Very cool. Let's see if we can focus that a little bit better. Yeah, there it is. So I, like I said, I much prefer the igneous geode. If this is an example, a, a true indication of what they're like, I like that it has some detail on the edge like that. Now let's take a look at those wafer looking growths inside there. What do those look like up close? Yeah, not so interesting, I suppose. And this is that wafer on the very edge. It's dark. I don't know what this is. Let's, let's zoom in and see if we can figure something out. It almost looks like it has little tiny purple specks, purple dots, but maybe that's the camera playing tricks on me. Let's zoom in on the tip of one of these crystals. This one right down here. Let's see, what does it look like? Well, it looks like the tip of a crystal. <laughs> so what do you think? Which one do you prefer? The igneous style or the sedimentary style? Now mind you, th this is completely non-scientific. I literally am using one example of each type. There's no telling what the other ones look like or whether or not these are truly representative of the, their styles, of their types. But to my eye, I prefer the 
the igneous. I think it has a lot more interesting stuff in it versus just the sedimentary. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.